Jo, alle sammen, der har man her, det skal vi spille uh, My Little Investigations. Um, den her er faktisk blevet opdateret til 1.06. Um, der er ikke sket så meget. Udover at den er bare lidt, blevet, lidt mere optimeret, men... Det er måske skulle spille og køre lidt mere smoothly nu. Og um, i sidste afsnit, så var det, vi snakkede med Apple Bloom omkring, hvad der egentlig skete i sidste nat. Så... Det vi skal, det er lige at snakke med Rarity igen omkring, hvad der egentlig var. Hun sagde sidste nat, og hun holder noget fra os. Det skal vi lige have fundet ud af, hvad det egentlig er. Så, hey! Kold mund. Så. Så vi vil gerne have åbnet den der. Så det vi skal gøre, det er at få hendes testimony. Nej, skulle testimony frem, fordi den blev opdateret siden sidst, så... Rarity, I hate to say it, but... I don't think you're telling me the whole truth here. Why? Darling! Whatever do you mean? I dare say I resent your accusation, my dear. All right then. Let's look at this a different way. How quickly did you come downstairs after you thought something was wrong? Immediately, of course. But I don't see what relevance that has to anything. I don't have all the answers here, but neither does Rarity. Maybe I can get her to talk, if I make it seem like I know more than I really do. Rarity, I spoke to Applebloom earlier and learned that she witnessed Scootaloo crashing through your window last night. I also learned that Scootaloo stayed for roughly a minute before leaving the boutique. Now, if you came downstairs immediately after hearing the crash, don't you think you might have seen something? Ah! Uh, I mean, that is... Uh, I suppose you do have a point. Thanks, Celestia. It worked. So we can open it. You are correct, Twilight. I did see Skudlu last night. I did not know what to make of it, and then to protect her, I do apologize for not being forthright about it. As I got this damn school spell, so I'm mostly taking it as a rarity. I understand, Rarity, but if that investigation team from Canterlot comes here and finds any of that out, what do you think their conclusion is going to be? You. I do have a point, I must say. Mm-hmm. Let's not edit to the interrogations. All right, time to get to the bottom of this. So now can we hear her talk about what happened last night? All right, Rarity. Please tell me everything you know about what you saw last night. I can't help if I don't have all the details. Of course, Twilight. I shall do my best. I finished my work for yesterday earlier than expected, so I had wanted to get my beauty sneak. I had been somewhat... Deprived, given that a certain client had made several last-minute orders. I had finally fallen into a blissful, restful sleep when, all of a sudden, I awoke to the sound of a loud crash coming from the first floor. Crash! Well, I was just scared out of my wits at that moment, so I made great haste downstairs to see what in Celestia's name was going on. What I found there was awful, terrible, horrible! The first floor of my boutique, ransacked, ruined, torn apart. Oh, what is a man to do? I can see the little effect that comes. Worse still, True Blue, my prized jewel, was gone. Searched for my very home. And worst of all, the very first thing I saw when I arrived was an orange and purple pony darting out my door. I, I cannot explain what I saw any other way than to say that. A Scootaloo purposely broke into my boutique to steal True Blue. What other explanation could there be? So they missed it. Surely you can see why I kept this from you, Twilight. This isn't Scootaloo at all. I did it. There she was. Yeah, I know this can't be right. Die, not clank with it. But is there anything wrong with what she's saying? No, I did it first. Skip. Um, look at press info information for where I'm in. Så jeg har en eller anden på fornemmelsen af, at... At... Mm, ja, det er det rigtigt nok. Det der med, at, at hun så en orange og purple pony... Øh, gå ud, eller... Løbe ud af døren. Og det er en af hoveddøren. Det er ikke af vinduet. Det vil synes, jeg vil være underligt, måske. Tænker jeg. Men øh, Det jeg mest tænker over, det er den her... Hvide hår der. Der står det jo på lessons, men... Men... Det blev lavet, det blev sådan fundet herovre i, hvor dø, øh, den havde vinduet blev ødelagt, så... Hmm... Rarity, what you said... Um... Nå, oh, fuck. 
Oh, okay. Rarity, I know that this is going to sound entirely irrelevant, but I think I have a lead on what might have happened to Opalescence. At least, if not True Blue. Oh, do tell, darling! Although I do admit that I must agree, in that I can't see how this is relevant to what we're discussing here. I found some white hair right near the tracks outside the window. And judging from their length and color, I don't think there's anyone else they could have come from other than Opalescence. As a result, I think we can reasonably conclude that if those tire marks are from Scootaloo, then it's entirely likely that she crashed through your window completely by accident, not purposefully. She was probably trying to avoid crashing into Opal, which may well have spooked Opal into running away. Really? But then, that makes things all the more peculiar. Because it is still the fact that she must have stolen True Blue, no? Nee, Let me school, ask yeah. a very important question before answering that. Uh, let's see. Is there another way into the... Yeah, down. Duh. Uh, do you lock your door each night? Do you think that Opal might be stolen? Ah, det tror jeg så ikke. Det tror jeg ikke. Men uh, jeg kan forestille mig, at det er at om hun lukker døren om natten. Fordi at, uh, hvorfor gik hun ikke bare ind i døren så, hvis det skulle være åben? Do you, by any chance, keep your door locked when you go to sleep at night? Why, yes, of course okay. I do. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. One follow-up question then. Do you also bring an opal from outside when you go to bed? Of course! The poor dear, I couldn't leave her to fend for herself at night. Then I think we've established something even more important than the accidental break-in. Twilight, I must ask that you be more direct, as I am not Hvordan following kan one word you're saying. Alright, let's think about the facts of the case thus far. We know that you heard a crash and came downstairs to see Scootaloo quickly leaving your boutique. We can reasonably conclude that she probably was responsible for the broken window. However, we also know that the broken window was likely an accident and that she had veered off course with her scooter because she was avoiding Opal, who was immediately in front of her path. You just told me, though, that you bring an Opal and lock your door at night. So that raises perhaps the most interesting question of all here. Namely, what was Opal doing outside in the first place? Exactly. But she would have gotten out when Scootaloo opened the door, would she not? Uh, what? That's not possible. Think about it. When was it that she veered to avoid Opal? No, hun var udenfor. Right before she crashed through the window. Ah! Uh. I trust you're beginning to see my point. If indeed your door had been locked and had remained that way until Scootaloo left, there would have been no way Opal would have been outside in the first place. Exactly. But that would mean that some pony else was in my boutique as well? Yes. Exactly. I think we can reasonably conclude at this point that there at least is the possibility that someone else had entered your boutique before Scootaloo. I could uh, reasonably conclude that it was some really clever man. And that they're the ones think. who opened the door so that Opal could get out. Mm -hmm. The question now, though, is who that would be. And that's just what I'm going to find out. Exactly. So now we're left to tell me that someone else had entered before her, and she could not be June. So. Well, good luck with that. <sighs> Are you still doubting me after all this, Rarity? Well, it's just hard to see you as a detective. Tell me, Hva? who was right about Nightmare Moon? My you, darling. Hello. But... And who solved the mystery of the mmm? -hmm? Wait, what? The mm -hmm? You again, but I really... And who recognized that Princess Cadence had been replaced by a fake? Once again, you, but you see... So... <clears throat> why does no pony ever listen to me? Exactly. Well, I suppose it's that eventually you must be due for getting something wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Det kender alt for godt, det der. Det der, det kender alt for godt. Når man får ret, så får man ret. Men når man så endelig får det forkert, så sker det på et eller andet mærkeligt tidspunkt. 
I could explain the many reasons that argument doesn't hold any water, but by the time I even got to Bray's theorem... Hmm. The Canterlot investigative team would have gotten here and convicted Fluttershy of something like running an illegal bear fighting club. <laughs> Probably well, best to drop the subject now, while I have the chance. Yeah. Uh, sure. That, uh, makes sense, I guess. Anyways, I'd best be off. More investigating and such like. Thanks for the help, Rarity. Anytime, my dear. Where do I go from here, though? It feels like I've talked to just about every pony. Aww. Other than Scootaloo, of course. Yeah, exactly. Wait, Scootaloo. Scootaloo, that's it! I haven't talked to all the cutie mark crusaders yet. And if Apple Bloom is involved, then the others probably are as well. Now, if I recall correctly, I can get to their clubhouse via the western exit of the town square. It's worth a shot, at any rate. Yes. Look, we're to Sweet Apple Lakers. Så, vi ses med dig.